blow thing. You can't still be mad about the Kalamazoo job. It wasn't my fault. The Adams Family is a creepy, eccentric, and morbid family that has been around for a long while, having been first created all the way back in 1938 by cartoonist Charles Adams. Now, while the human members of the family are quite ghoulish and macabre, the non-human members are a whole different ballgame. A family of this sort is bound to have creepy pets, and one of them is simply known as The Thing. For those similar with the Adams Family, The Thing is an indispensable part of the family, but what sets him apart is the fact that he is literally just a floating, disembodied hand. Yes, you heard me right. Intrigued? Here is all you need to know about the thing. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. The Thing Origins How was it conceived? While the Adams Family has been around since 1938, Thing was introduced much later in 1954. It comes as no surprise that Charles Adams, a man who was widely known for his fascination with the aberrations of life, would create a peculiar character like The Thing. Thing T. Thing, yes, that is his full name, is frequently referred to as just The Thing. When it was first imagined, The Thing was portrayed as a single whole being, not just a hand, that constantly observed the family from the background. Despite being a complete entity, it was apparently too unsightly for people and its human hand was the only aspect that could be visually tolerated. Thus, just that was displayed and visible to the members of the Adams Family and us. The 1964 television series included a version of Thing that looks like this. Due to the fact that it was pretty much an unidentifiable being, the Adams Family gave it the name Thing. However, the way Thing was depicted underwent a change in the 1991 and 1993 Adams Family movies. The concept of Thing was modified to just be a disembodied hand, and this representation was kept in all following versions, including the one we see in the new Netflix series titled Wednesday. In fact, in fact, adapting a disembodied hand for the big screen was a challenge. The Adams Family transitioned from single panel animation to feature films in 1991. Alan Munro, the visual effects supervisor for the Adams Family, claimed that the idea for Thing was originally offered up as a magical character using Fred Astaire as a model. When Fred dances up the wall and onto the ceiling, it looks like the most natural thing in the world because he is so graceful, exquisite, fluid, and unfettered. This was the trait that the Thing had to possess, although unnatural, yet natural, bound but not constrained. This was tough to pull off, but they managed to do it so beautifully. From finding the perfect person to cast for the role of the hand, magician Christopher Hart, to use proper visual effects, rotoscoping, and fun imagination to create the little skewering hand that we now know and love. I should have known you were behind this. What part of no party under the penalty of death do you not understand? What is The Thing? It is unknown what exactly The Thing was made of and whether he had ever been connected to a human body or had simply come into being as a separate entity. However, it is evident from the televised program The Thing was not an uncommon being as far as the world of outcasts is concerned. There were more of his kind. A character called Princess Millicent Von Schlepp appeared in episode number 38's Morticia Reads Royalty and delivered a fancy box from which a distinctively feminine hand emerged. Thing immediately fell in love with his female hand. Named Ladyfingers, this female thing immediately came captured the attention and affections of Thing. Further in episode number 23, we learn that Thing also has a complete name. Thing, T, Thing, with the T standing for, you guessed it, Thing. There is at least one more Thing present in the Adams Family world, according to what is shown on screen. The other Thing is named Esmeralda, and she is a rather repulsive old female claw with jewels and terribly sharp black fingernails. Esmeralda appears when she replaces Lady Fingers after she leaves Princess Von Schlepp's service. However, she turns out to be a dishonest handmaiden and thus is let go, bringing back Lady Fingers once again. Further, a picture purported to be of Thing's parents was featured in the episode Thing is Missing, where a male and a female hand were showed holding hands. It would thus seem that the Adam family's relatives often have things in their service. However, what they truly are is unknown. This very aura of mystery that surrounds Thing is what adds to the complexity of the character. The Thing has his own personality. The Thing is an integral part of the Adams Family and is often seen as the family pet. The thing can be looked at as a mix of a spider and a dog, since it scurries around on its five fingers much like a spider would, but is loyal and engages in service much like a pet dog would. Things like getting the mail, lighting cigars for Gomez Adams, changing the station on the Adams TV, holding Morticia Adams yarn while she knits, converting grapes into wine in under a minute, and turning over records on the phonograph are just a few of Things' many helpful duties. He rides in the glove compartment of the car while the family is driving. Driving, and in an episode where Gomez is in the courtroom, he even comes out of Gomez's briefcase. Grandma and Thing also enjoy engaging in arm wrestling. 
All of this shows that the family treats Thing as one of them, and he is just as much in Adams as they are. It is shown that Thing has been with the Adams family since Gomez was a youngster in a flashback episode about how Gomez and Morticia met, indicating that Thing is the son of a previous generation of hand servants. Thing is unable to speak, but he could communicate by writing using the manual alphabet and occasionally snapping his fingers to get people's attention. Visitors to the Adams mansion may find this to be very unsettling. In certain episodes, a running joke is when a visitor, who, out of gratitude for an act of generosity from the Adams, cheerfully shakes hands with everyone in attendance before being offered a handshake by Thing. The guest recoils in sheer terror and runs away from the premises. Thing, however, is completely harmless and loved by all family members. Morticia is constantly grateful for his assistance, and her frequent, why thank you Thing, is one of the show's most well-known quotes. Thing also holds a deep love for all the members of the Adams family. It seems like he is directly obedient and loyal to Gomez in a way that a dog would be, but he also has a particular fondness for the Adams children. Wednesday in Pugsley As seen in the new Netflix series, Thing is very much capable of expressing emotions and has his own personality. He can get sad in situations and also mad and upset as well. However, the be-all and end-all is that he is fiercely protective of Wednesday. He is also extremely smart and often offers advice to the young teenager who seems to always get herself into trouble in some way or the other. He also helps her in whatever way possible, such as turning the pages of her music book while she plays the cello and secretly telling people to find out what they get up to and trying to solve the mystery of the murdering monster. In fact, there are many things Wednesday simply would not have been able to do if Thing was not there by her side. I'm sure what secret Crackstone is hiding, but I have a strange feeling the answers to my future lie in the past. Thing and Wednesday, the Netflix series. Thing had an extensive role in the new series. In this series, he is portrayed as having a Frankenstein-esque appearance, with stitches all over his palm and fingers. Actor, illusionist, and magician Victor Dorabantu plays the role of Thing, or rather his hand does. If Thing was loyal to Gomez, how did he end up with Wednesday in her new school for outcasts? Well, when Wednesday was forced to enroll in Nevermore Academy, Gomez Adams sent Thing with her to shadow her covertly and revert back with information about how she was doing if she was fitting in at the school. However, almost immediately, Wednesday picked up on the Thing's presence and made him pledge his undying loyalty to her. From that moment onwards, the two became absolutely inseparable. Being a hand and scurrying along the floor like a spider has its own obvious perks. Thus, Thing became Wednesday's spy, her eyes and ears. He would go to all the places that she could not and keep an eye on things. He helped her all throughout the investigation and even helped her win school competitions like the Poe Cup. Thing was her only friend until Enid and Wednesday became close. Once they did, Thing also became fast friends with Enid, even allowing the werewolf girl to give him a manicure. However, Thing also faces his own share of troubles in the series as he is discovered brutally stabbed and pinned to the wall of Wednesday's college dorm room in the seventh episode. Wednesday panics seeing her friend in such a terrible state. She realizes that her only hope of saving him lies with her eccentric uncle Fester. She thus quickly rushes an unresponsive Thing to him. Thing is then miraculously saved by Fester, who uses his electricity generation powers to revive Thing by shocking him again and again. Wednesday then stitches the wound closed, contributing to Thing's many scars. During this scene, it is clear how much Wednesday loves Thing, with her tearing up at the thought of her friend dying. As far as the portrayal of Thing is concerned, magician and now hand actor Victor had to spend three hours getting ready and wearing a blue suit before filming his sequences, so that the VFX crew could visibly cut him out whenever he was in the frame. In order to achieve the correct shot, Victor frequently had to have his body oddly positioned on set, including upside down, beneath floors, behind walls, as well as inside walls. The Wednesday team also employed a bag of full stand-in prosthetic hands cast in various angles for specific scenarios. Thing is thus undoubtedly an important member of the Adams family, having been around for a very long time. Thing is also a pretty cool character and adds to the macabre and ghoulish aura of the entire family. A disembodied hand for a pet is definitely out of the ordinary. If you want to see Thing in action, Wednesday, which is currently available for streaming on Netflix, is an absolute must watch. What do you think about this friendly disembodied hand? Tell us in the comments section below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. Maybe this forced vacation will be more interesting than I imagined. Unlike my...